Hey, what's up guys? Fishbricks85 and we're back with another video for you guys and today we're going to be taking a look at the early 1990s one of my favorite games that I used to play when I was a kid Pog. Okay guys, so just real quick in this video I wanted to give you guys a quick re... re... um... Recreation or reactment of uh, the way the game would go over here is like this guy with his pogs over here You got this guy with his pogs and now they both put them into the the center We flip them over like so flip them over like that put them right there Usually you kind of want to overlap them. It's usually easier that way and then each guy takes a turn you go back and forth using the slammer and let's see if I can do this Oh, and look at that. I flipped one, and that means I win one. So then uh, this guy has to end up coming over here, and he has to put in another one. Mine stays in because that was mine. And then sometimes you get lucky. You flip both over. Sometimes you don't flip either. That means it will be the other guy's turn, his chance to try to get them. And you go back and forth like this until you're either ready to end the game or you run out of pogs or one person has more than the other. So that's basically the reenactment of the way to play the game. That's something what it would look like if it was me and a friend playing. So I just wanted to show you guys that real quick. Okay guys, so today we're gonna be taking a look at the first part of my Pogs collection because I have about three more containers of these somewhere else. So I will be doing uh, more videos following up to this one. But today we're taking a look at these Pogs right here. We're also going to be taking a look at some slammers, some of my favorite pogs, and a couple of my favorite slammers. So let's get right into this. If you guys remember this game, take a slammer, you turn two of these upside down like how these ones are here. Take a slammer, you slam it down. If you flip it over, you're a winner. And we used to play for keeps, we used to play for fun. At the end of the game, whoever collects the most pogs is ultimate champion. At least that's the way we used to play. I'm sure there's probably more complicated versions. Oh, this is one of my favorites right here. I missed this one. Check this out. I'm, like I was saying, I'm sure there's more complicated versions of this game. I love these ninja star shaped pogs. These are amazing. I'm sure there's more complicated versions of the game. I'm sure there's some with different rules. Uh, I just know the way we used to play. So I never got like much more into it than that. But it was always a fun game. But anyway, these ninja star pogs. I love these things. They're so awesome. And... um yeah, so anyway, we'll get into slammers here in a minute. I just wanted to show these off real quick. I've got some here. Oh, here we go. This is kind of cool. This is uh, like a follow-up from one of my last videos, the Z-Bots that I was telling you guys about. I actually had this particular Z-Bot when I was a kid, the Centipede one. It was a Centipede on wheels. But kind of cool because I actually have a Pog based off of that. And there's nothing on the back. I thought maybe sometimes they put stuff on the back of these, but not always. But... This is a uh, Centoid, I guess was the name of this Z-Bot. So, kind of cool how I did a video on Z-Bots and now I'm showing you my Z-Bot Pog. So, that's kind of cool. So, a lot of cool ones in here. Oops, looks like I missed a slammer there. I'll get into those in a minute. There was uh, two versions of slammers. Plastic and metal. Jam cap. <laughs> plastic and metal slammers. Now, if you guys are like me, some of your favorites were probably the metal ones. Those were always my favorite. The plastic ones didn't really slam as well or get the kind of points that you really wanted to go for in this game. The metal ones were always better for that. So, what I'm going to show off right now is I want to show off this right here, which is from Goosebumps. Um, oh, it says right here. Book number eight, Goosebumps. Honey Nut Cheerios. Now, I don't remember this book. I read a lot of Goosebumps in my day, but I don't really remember this. But, pretty cool. So, yeah, here's like a crazy looking Frankenstein vampire style pog. They had some crazy designs. Here's another Frankenstein right here. The monsters, the skulls, the real kooky ones. Those were always kind of my favorite. Here's a skateboarder. Here's another Z-Bot. This one is, um, can't read that. Retch, retreads. Huh, retreads. I think I had this one too, if I remember right. Uh, what's this one over here? This one's been catching my attention. Oh, this is just a Pog skateboarder caution type. Oh, and you can see it's real sparkly on this side. Really cool. Pogs is awesome. Okay, so now that I've kind of shown these off a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and come over here real quick, and I'm going to show you guys some of my favorites. I kind of like this one. This one's kind of cool. It's all sparkly with the skeleton playing uh, soccer it looks like he's kicking a ball and maybe throwing up like a, a high sign he's like hi how you doing so that's kind of cool and then I got a Wolverine one here 
Actually, um, yeah, that's what I was going to say. More specific would be Weapon X. It is Wolverine, but it's more when he first became Wolverine. And he was first known as Weapon X. And this gives a little backstory on him. I'm not going to go into all of that. Once operating under Magneto, Weapon X broke from the X-Men to save Jean Grey from the breeding pins. Neither... Dude, I can't read this looking at it through the camera, guys. I'm sorry. Neither returned to the team. Instead, he ended up going underground to bring about the end of Apocalypse. So, it's just a little backstory on Weapon X right there. It's kind of cool. Uh, this is one of my other favorites right here. It's a dragon holding an 8-ball. For some reason, 8-balls were very uh, proficient in the Pog world. There was always the 8-ball Pogs. I have another one. Well, actually, this isn't an 8-ball one. But, oh, here we go. See? He got, like, a cracked 8-ball here. And uh, this one's just a skull with wings and crossbones. It's kind of cool. It says Gone Batty. So these pogs were really just random. Really random because over here you have a turtle. And you never know what these are going to have on them. Just crazy cool little pictures. Uh, right here's one of my other favorites. It's a poison clown. Again with the eight ball. He's got an eight ball for a clown nose if you can see that. Really cool looking clown. I really like evil clowns. So this is pretty cool. Um, see I got this one. Another eight ball. It's a skull eating an 8-ball, and it says 8-ball, like A-T-E, like you ate it, so that's kind of cool too. Uh, I love the shininess and the way it reflects the light, really cool. Um, I'll save that one for last. I was going to show you guys Z-Bot, but I already did that, so here's another one. This is Nasty. He was a bad guy Z-Bot, uh, pretty cool. But And then this one. This is a scorpion. This was always one of my favorites. I was kind of excited when I got this one. But my favorite in the collection, probably because it's a ninja star and it's an axe, and I really like axes, is this one right here. It's a giant battle axe. That one's really cool. I really like it. And uh, so, yeah, guys, that's my pod collection. Um, right now, we're going to get into some slammers over here. So, I'm going to start. I'm going to save the metal ones for last, and I'll work my way through them to my favorites. Uh, let's see. Probably like that. Just bear with me, guys. I'll be with you in just a minute. Just trying to get these together. I didn't really organize this before I started this video. My bad. So, anyway, uh, we'll start off showing the slammers. So, this is a plastic slammer. It's a uh, skull with vampire teeth and butterfly wings. Also kind of sparkly and shiny. Bright orange underneath. You just kind of slam it down there. And that's how that works. But see, the plastic ones are too light. They don't really do a good job. Um, I have another one. It's a pirate skull and crossbones here. It's really cool. It's plastic too. So kind of not great. But also with the POG logo. So I'm going to get through these plastic ones rather quickly. So I can get down to the metal ones, which are way better. Here's a Marvel Heroes one that I have. I think it says uh, POG on the back also. And uh, yeah. So the plastic ones, like I said, they kind of suck. So, alright guys, I'm going to get to the my favorite ones, and these go from my least favorite to my most favorite. I have, again, the 8-ball, purple shiny 8-ball, and this is, uh, oh, hear the difference? It's the metal right there. Oh, yeah, that's nice. So, that's a real cool slammer right there. This was given to me when I was a kid by one of my friends. He gave me his POG collection, so a lot of these POGs in here and some of these slammers were given to me by him. So, let's keep going. Here's another one that was given to me by him. It's a shiny green skull that looks really cool. Going all kinds of different ways, if you guys can see that. One of my favorites, too. I like that green. It looks really cool. Um, this one right here. A shiny yellow skull with horns. Sharp teeth. It looks pretty cool. Oh, shoot. You can hear how heavy that is. Those, those metal ones, they are no joke. But, uh, really cool slammer right here. Love this thing. But, you guys, I have to get down to my absolute favorite slammer that I own out of my entire collection. And it's my favorite because not only is it metal, but it's pure silver. I love silver. Silver is one of my favorite colors. And it's also a slammer that's in the shape of a ninja star. So that just makes it even cooler. I love this slammer. It was always my lucky slammer. I won a lot of games of Pogs with this slammer. Um, it's kind of just the right weight, not too heavy, not too light, not as heavy as the other ones, maybe because of the Ninja Star design, I'm not too sure about that, but again, you can tell it's not as heavy as the other ones, but yeah, guys, so my favorite slammer right there, 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of Pogs. Tell me about your favorite Pogs or how you used to play Pogs in the comments down below. I'd be happy. I'd love to read those stories. Hear about your guys' days of the Pogs and games you used to play. And If you guys know any other rules or any other way to play Pogs, also leave that in the comments down below because I'd love to learn a new way to play this game. I still pull it out and play it on occasion with my girlfriend. It's always fun. Me and my friends, sometimes we pull them out and play with them. So, you know, you're never too old to play with Pogs. Come on, man. Come on. All right, guys. So right now I'm going to end this video right here. And as always, if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that notification bell. Come on, guys. FishBricks85, you know what it is. We'll see you guys in the next one.